The problem we will be solving can be found in the book Vector Mechanics for Engineers, Statics and Dynamics by Beer, Johnston, Masaryk, Cornwell, and Eisenberg, 9th edition, page 171, problem 4.1. A 2100 pound tractor is used to lift 900 pounds of gravel. Determine the reaction at each of the two A, rear wheels, A, B, front wheels, B. So now let us proceed with problem 4.1. Here I have a representation of problem 4.1. The support reactions, I designated them FA and FB, and they are directed upward, supporting these wheels. We also have the center of gravity, which is directed downward or toward the center of the earth. Same thing with the weight of the gravel, which I designated it P, is directed downward or towards the center of the earth. We also have the perpendicular distances from each force to the center of gravity. For example, FA is 20 inches away from the center of gravity. FB is 40 inches away from the center of gravity. And the weight of the gravel P is 90 inches away from the center of gravity. Another important thing that you may know is that since we have four wheels, we have two here, two here, the support reactions that are acting on this line of action will be distributed amongst these two wheels. This means that each wheel will support half of the original support reaction. As far as our sign conventions go, we will choose any or all forces that are directed upward to be positive and your all forces that are directed downward will be considered negative. For moments, any moment that is in the clockwise direction will be positive, any moment in the counterclockwise direction will be negative. So let us proceed implementing Newton's first law in the y direction. The reason in the y direction is because we only have forces in the y direction. We have no forces in the x direction. Okay, so let us proceed. Here we have the sum of the forces, you have the sum of the forces in the y direction is equal to, well, FA and FB are directed upward, so they are positive. FA plus FB, the center of gravity and the weight of the gravel are directed downward, so they are negative. Negative G, negative P. We're going to set those equal to zero. That's our first equation. Now, our second equation, we are going to calculate moment about a pivot point. I will choose to calculate moment generated about the center of gravity. You can choose to calculate moment about any pivot point. I will choose the center of gravity. I'm going to set the sum of those moments equal to zero. So, the sum of the moments about the center of gravity equals, well, FA has the tendency to generate a moment about the center of gravity in the clockwise direction. So it will be a positive moment and it is 20 inches away from the center of gravity. So we have 20 multiply FA. 20 multiply FA. The center of gravity itself will not generate any moment so this is zero because the distance from the center of gravity to the pivot course is zero. FB. FB has the tendency to generate a moment in the counterclockwise direction or the negative direction that we have chosen. So we will multiply FB by the perpendicular distance from the center of gravity 40 inches and it will be negative. So this will be minus 40 FB. Minus 40 FB. The weight of the gravel P has the tendency to generate a moment about the center of gravity in the clockwise direction. So this will be a positive moment or 90 P because 90 is the perpendicular distance from P to the center of gravity plus 90 P. And we're going to set that equal to zero. We have two equations with two unknowns. Our unknowns are FA and FB which are our support reactions. Now what we will do, we will solve algebraically for one of the variables in the first equation and substitute it into the second equation because here we have a system of equations which we can solve using substitution. I will solve for FA in the first equation. To do that I will have FA is equal to FB minus G and minus P. I will just move it to the other side by 
change in the sign. So I have P plus G minus F B. This is F A. Okay. I will proceed now by substituting F A into the second equation. That means I will multiply these terms here by 20. At the same time, I will distribute the 20 to each term. So I have 20 times all the terms in F A. So I will have 20 times P plus 20 times G minus 20 times F B. 20 times F B. Okay? Now we already have 20 times F A. Now we will subtract 40 F B. We're going to add 90 P and we're going to set that equal to 0. Okay? Now we will proceed the final way. We will combine like terms. Well, our like terms are 20 P and 90 P. So that's 110 P when we add those. 110 P. We also have negative 20 FB and negative 40 FB or negative 60 FB. Okay? But before that, let's just put this 20 G term, which has no like terms. And we're going to subtract 60 times FB. We're going to set that equal to 0. To solve, we will add 60 FB to both sides. So we will have 60 FB equals 110 P plus 20 G. FB, solving algebraically for it, will be 110 P plus 20 G divided by 60. So this is FB. Let me just remind you, this is not the answer that we seek. Again, these are the support reactions at the lines of actions of these wheels. The only thing that we need to do is when we solve numerically for these support reactions, we would divide them by 2 because, remember, the support reactions are distributed amongst these wheels. So that means that one wheel will support half of the original support reaction. Okay. So, solving numerically for FB, numerical answer we get 110 P. P was the weight of the gravel, which we designated P, which is given, and it is 900 pounds, plus 20 times the center of gravity, which is 2,100 pounds. And we divide that by 60, we get that this is 2,350 pounds. This is the support reaction at B. Right? Now that we know FB, we will substitute it here and solve for FA. Okay? P, we know it's 900. The center of gravity is 2100. And we're going to subtract FB, which we found already, to 2350. And we get here 650 pounds. Now, let's proceed with the next page. What we have found out is that FA equals 650 pounds. Support reaction at FB is 2,350 pounds. Okay? Remember that the sum of the forces in the y direction or the downward force, the center of gravity, and the weight of the gravel P must be countered by the by another force or forces with the opposite direction but equal in magnitude. If you notice that if you add 650 pounds plus 2,350 pounds will be equal to 3,000 and 3,000 pounds. Of course, this is equivalent to the center of gravity plus the weight of the gravel. They also added to 3,000 pounds. This is good, but we want the reaction at each wheel. The only thing that we must do to find the answer is divide the support reaction here at FB and at FA by 2, and we will get the support reaction at each wheel. So, for the, the support reaction, I'm going to call the force F, and the front wheel, of course, we designated that FB. So, it will be 2,350 divided by 2. Or, 
1,175 pounds. The reaction at A or the rear wheel, I'm going to put R for rear wheel. We will just take A and divide it by 2. And of course, we will get 325 pounds. So what we have here, we have solved for the support reaction at each wheel. These are the support reactions along these lines of action. Because we have two wheels in each line of action, the support will be distributed amongst each wheel evenly.